Okay, so I've done lots of videos about ad event listener and talking about how you can manipulate the DOM and use these different event listeners to let the user interact with your page, but I haven't done anything yet about remove event listener. So I want to talk about why that's important, why you should remove your event listeners when you're done with them. So I have a sample page here, um, unordered list with a couple of list items inside of it. When the page loads, I'm adding click listeners to both of those things. The click listener function, what it's going to do is it's just going to change the text color to gold. And then I'm doing a set timeout. So after 500 milliseconds, half second later, I'm going to remove that list item from the page. So let's uh, take a look at the page here. And I'll refresh just to make sure I've got the latest version. Now when I click, it turns gold and then it disappears after a half second. Okay, fine. That's what it's doing right now. Now, sites like Twitter, you'll notice that uh, when you're on the site, it gives you updates to tell you every so often, hey, you know, there's five new tweets, 12 new tweets, 500 new tweets, but it's not actually adding those to the page. So why isn't it adding them to the page? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One of them is it pushes your content down. It would make it harder for you to continue reading what you're doing, but also you're adding content to the page. So there will be frequently new content added to the page, and every time you add a new node to the page, that's more memory being used. Effectively, if you had that tab running in the background, you could use up all the memory that is available on your computer. Not a good thing to do. So I have here an example, and I'm calling this function every one second to add a new list item with a uh, just a timestamp is going to be displayed inside there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, take a look at the memory on the page. I'm going to uh, take a snapshot just at the very beginning to calculate um, the amount of memory we're using, the number of objects that we're using. And when I reload this and it starts going, it's going to be adding these new posts. Once per second, it's going to be adding a new list item. Take another snapshot and then we can see that the amount of memory obviously is or the number of Take another snapshot here. There we go. So now it's going up. Sorry, that was an old version of the page that I had on here. That's why the first snapshot isn't right. Take a third one here just to show. Yes, indeed. We are actually increasing in the amount of memory being used. So we're going up 93, 94, these uh, items are increasing. So, I'm going to clear all these out, and we don't need these snapshots anymore. Okay, now we're, we have our code, so if I click on these, I'm able to continue to remove items one after another after another. They highlight and then they remove themselves from the screen. Okay, great. So I'm removing the actual nodes from the screen and I can, if I click frequently enough, sorry for all the clicking, I know it comes through quite loud in the microphone. If I continue to do these clicking to remove all the nodes again and again and again, I can kind of hold even and even get a little bit ahead. But what's actually happening here is, take another snapshot, this is uh, continuing to grow. The retain size is bigger. The number of objects is bigger. Um, yes, I've added more here, but what's going on behind the scenes is we've added click listeners onto every one of these guys. So when we remove them from their parent element, all we're really doing is removing them from the screen. We're not deleting them from memory this click listener is still attached to the list items that we're removing from the screen. It's like here, when you call a pen child and say, add this list item to the page, we are not creating it at this point. It's not that at this point in time, now it exists in memory. Up here, this is where we created it and put it into memory. Here is where we're just painting it on the screen, saying to the browser, hey, redraw the screen and add this list item for the user to see. When we do remove child, it's the same thing. We're just taking it off the screen. Now, if there's nothing connected to it, 
So we no longer have a variable reference to it. We no longer, uh, like here, this variable dies when this function ends, so we don't have the li variable clinging onto it. Up here, we're removing it from the screen. If there was nothing still attached to it, that would mean that the garbage collector in JavaScript will be free to come and get rid of that. We have, however, this event listener. This is hanging on to that list item just in case it gets added back onto the stage at some point in the future, and it still needs that event listener. So we want to get rid of that. That's why it's important to remove your event listeners because you're continuing to increase the memory. I mean, I'm doing a bit of an extreme example here. I'm adding quite a few elements with a click listener on every single one of them. But even if it's a small number that you've got, so I'll do another snapshot here. We've gone from 24.9 up to 25, 200. So I've added several hundred objects. One object, not a big deal. 10 objects, not a big deal. 30 objects, not really a huge deal. But when you start to do this over time, if you are adding elements, if you are adding event listeners, when you don't need them anymore, remove them. So if those elements get removed from memory, they will actually be garbage collected and you won't be using up resources on the person's computer. So how do we do this? Well, inside my function here where I'm calling remove child, just before I do that, I will say this, which is my list item inside this function, remove event listener. Works the exact same way as add event listener. Takes two arguments. What's the event? And what is the function? And there we go. Now we are removing not just the element from the screen, we're also removing the click listener from it. So once it's off the screen, there's nobody hanging on to it anymore. The garbage collector is free to come along and get rid of that item. Now, these are being added in here. When I click, I'm removing the click listener and I'm removing it from the screen. So both things are happening. I'm not going to be eating up a lot of extra memory now. So we continue to remove these. We're keeping pretty even with the number that are there. Another snapshot. This is going to be a much smaller number and the garbage collector is free to run whenever it gets an opportunity and get rid of the extra elements. Okay, so we're not going to see a huge change here. Like these are very small elements that we're adding, but this is a best practice. Whenever you are going to remove something from the screen, if you are not planning on ever putting it back, you're just doing this to get rid of it, make sure you remove your event listeners as well. One line of code, simple thing to do, save the memory on your user's computer. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.